Hey guys, this is Joe Poppin' On, and if you like collectibles and pop culture stuff, you're in the right spot. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Alrighty guys, this is part two of my Emerald City um, haul. Um, today we're going to unbox them all because yesterday I, sh I showed them all. We tried to go for the con stickers. Sad to say I did not get any, which is just shocking. Um, but once again, it was a shot, and uh, you got to give it a try. Because uh, you got to be in it to win it kind of deal. It's like the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. So excellent. Let's take a look at these and uh, pop them out of box. So I'm going to start with Cell because he was one of the ones I was most looking forward to. So let's pop him out and, and take a look. So he was one of the ones I was most excited for as I said in the previous one uh, because he is just really cool and I love the glow in the dark feature and I was really happy that they finally like kind of came back to Cell and kind of really did a nice job with them. Um, I like his original figure, um, but this one is just really nice, and I do love the uh, different color green because all, always when they do glow in the dark, it's like made into the plastic, and uh, it always looks different. Uh, a little transparency kind of to it. So this one looks so nice, really cool. I think it must be the, tra the, the, the glow on it that gives it a little bit more of a texture on his face. I'm not even sure if it shows up on camera, but he does have a little bit more texture to the, the paint on his face and like the purple as well. Uh, it looks really great, uh, but they did such a good job with Cell. I'm really happy they did them. Um, I was so happy to get another like Dragon Ball Z one uh, that was like cool. It wasn't just another Goku or Vegeta. I, I, even though I do have to say the, the pasta one for uh, the noodle one for uh, Vegeta is just perfect because it just really is. So here we go. Let's move on to the MCU. Uh, I'm really, really interested to see this one uh, out of box. I, I really haven't seen anybody take it out of the box and like play with it kind of deal. So I am excited to see that. It does look like it's a peg. I thought it was going to be a magnet because I think that's uh, what the headless one was for Herschel. Was it was a magnet, but for this one, it looks like they're just doing a peg, which is understandable. It's only a hand and everything like that. But here he is. So let's take a look. So here he is on one knee, completely defeated. It just looks so good. Once again, I do love the the burn effect from the gauntlet that they have all through all throughout the character. Uh, it looks really great. So, and then we have a separate piece. It comes out it's separately in the box. So once again, it is the hand uh, the gauntlet with the hand. Um, so it pops right in his hand. So it just oh, so it's a hexagonal hole to a circle. So it will stay in better. So there it goes. I'm not sure how to play with it. Oh, it should go more like that, yeah. So it goes more to his side. So it's going around to the side of his, his pants. And it fits in really nicely. Once again, it is a hexagonal, kind of like a stop sign kind of hole uh, in a circle. So it does grab it tightly. Uh, so it gets it, it's a little hard to push in, but it won't just slide off when you're moving them around or, or anything like that, which is really nice to know so you don't lose you don't lose his hand, <laughs> which is really cool. I, I like that they, they actually, for this one, with it being such like a multiple dip on the same character, that it was a nice new design. Um, uh, a nice new feature. Like, we haven't really had a, anybody with their hand pop off. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to go on to Harry Potter. So let's do Fleur first. Uh, I, as again, I like Fleur Delacour um, because she does marry one of the Weasleys and becomes one of the family. And technically she's part of Harry's family then too because he once again marries Ginny. Uh, so she is technically part of Harry's family. <laughs> Extendedly, uh, which is nice, and I do like it that they had the the school outfit. I really hope they do it for the other character. I'm blanking on his name right now. Uh, the guy, Crumb, Crumb. That's it. Uh, I, I hope they do him in his school uniform because it's very cool, and he's a great character. And then they would have all of the uh, all the the can participants in like their school outfit. Uh, but here we go. We got Fleur. She came out really nice. I like the hat. Um, it came out really good. Looks, I have to say, just looks so much better to me than her her ballroom one. It just more is what I picture. When I picture the character, I picture them as this. So I was really happy to add this one to my Harry Potter collection. Uh, a little sad. There's a little ding. It kind of feels like right in the front of the brim of her hat. But 
all in all, like her face and the hair coloring ha is done very well. And then, of course, we do have Nymphadora Tonks. This one's really nice. Of course, these ones are to the wave of uh, the ballroom. Uh, but once again, uh, just not a fan of it. Uh, probably if they had done this like four years ago, I would have gotten all of them. But once again, like I'm now just more interested in getting the characters. Um, just for the character, like how you know them mostly. Uh, I'm not so into Lao having to get every single, like I won't get, I'm not gonna get every version of Harry anymore. I stopped that in Hermione and Ron. Uh, I grabbed the ones I really like, uh, from the scenes I really like. But once again, like when you have like, now I have probably like 10 Harrys. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm like, and they're still coming out with more. I'm like, and we're gonna get like a 10, uh, what is it? The 18 inch one, we're gonna get a Harry, so. Uh, I'm just going for the ones I really think are fun and like Nymphadora Tonks is just awesome uh, She's the one who can completely like change how she looks with like uh, she has a special Inborn ability uh, to like change her hair color change how I believe how it's styled um, Her face can all change up. So she was great for undercover work and uh, once again, she does marry Lupin uh, which is just a really sweet um, story and Lupin was always one of my favorite characters one of the better one of the best sort of the best uh, defense against the dark arts teacher teacher in depending on who you ask <laughs> and of course next here we go let me show him off first we have speed racer he looks so nice I am very happy they uh, they actually have the trophy one with the thumbs up I just thought it looked really great uh, his iconic pose that they did have uh, for his common looks really nice, but I'm thinking about probably trying to go for his chase figure, which is uh, in kind of that pose. So, I, and already having now two speeds, um, I was pretty happy with uh, with this one instead. Uh, pretty happy. I was very happy with this one instead. Uh, I thought it was really nice. Uh, and always, because speed was always the, the winner, um, I thought this one was just so apropos. Just really cool. Uh, nice little little nod to the to the franchise. It's just so good, uh, and I thought this one was great to have out of bo like um, out of the out of the Mach Five. <laughs> well, I'm gonna lay him down. He's he's a little wobbly on my table, and then we have the big boy, the building. This one is so cool. I'm so excited for it. Uh, this one's going to be really my first um, like. It actually stays out of box. It stays out. It stays in the open. Uh, pop down because I did wind up getting the the Christmas town because I really liked it. Um, but those ones, once again, I'm using as Christmas decorations. I'm not using them as normal pops. Um, so they went away after Christmas. Uh, they they get packed up and I actually put them with my um, in storage with my uh, all my Christmas stuff. So I'm like that's that's how I I picture them. Like I don't picture them really as a pop. So here we go. This is the building. This one I just thought was so cool. Um, it did a really nice job remaking it. And then it's got the back with the little <laughs> little service door uh, and the side. Oh, nice. And the little where they must get all the deliveries. Oh, that looks just so cool. I'm a little sad over here on the top. I have a mark where Freddy was standing. I'm just, it doesn't look like it just rubs off. Um, it looks like... Um, Something actually smacked it. But the, the cool thing with this one, it also came with Freddy, which, sad to say, I don't have many Freddies. Um, but always the ones I really like are always extremely hard to get, which is probably how I bet all of us do it. Um, like, cause really you can't, you can only have a couple. Um, like I, I don't like to get all the random ones. Um, and uh, for me, like I always want to get them towards the lines I collect when Freddy kind of, is a mashup with something, and I just never wind up getting them. Um, I very rarely I've gotten like the New York ones and stuff like that. I was very lucky to get, but they show him as a display with up here, which is really cool. I think I'm going to do a different display. Um, I forget exactly because once again I have not been to the building, um, but I know like they have the Spider-Man crouching. Uh, I think he's on one of the walkways, but I think I might put him up here. Um, I, know, I know they have like Batman. I know they have a Sully. Um, they have a lot of different statues, so I think I, I, 
for me, I'm just going to kind of randomly put a, uh, a different pop over here as like a statue. Um, because that just kind of, that, that, it just is fun. And uh, he can, if, and the Freddy for Freddy HQ uh, can stay with my, my other couple Freddies. Um, because I like to kind of keep my Freddies all together. Um, and the HQ is just too cool. Um, just a really fun one. So just to go over, I did get the HQ with Freddy. Um, I got Nymphador Tonks and uh, Fleur uh, from Harry Potter. Because once again, they do the best Harry Potter ones, always for the conventions. And then for um, uh, the MCU, I wound up picking up uh, Thanos with the removable gauntlet arm. Then we got Speed Racer, uh, which is just too cool. Oh, I just got to point this out because I just noticed it as I put it back on. He does have like the serial number logo. Oh, come on, don't get me. Uh, on his foot. That's pointing upwards. It says Marvel and then like the serial number, which is pretty awesome. Like, because they always have something on, either, on both feet. Um, so it's just kind of cool that they, they kept that up. And then, of course, I got Cell. Uh, I previously did get uh, Vegeta. Uh, I, not, I didn't unbox him in this video because I had done a previously on, a previous unboxing video with him and Goku uh, because I got them around the same time, um, that, which is just pretty awesome. Uh, but this is my, my, my nice haul for Emerald City Comic Con. Once again, this one, I heard a lot of people saying like they didn't really hit anything for them. But once again, like it's... It's very like hit or miss to know if it ever gets like what you collect. This time it hit a little bit too much for me for such a small convention. Uh, but <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Need some water. Uh, but this one just did a really nice job. It just looks really nice. These ones are well made, very different, and that is what I look for when I go for convention pops. I want something that's uh, a cool character, really nice looking, and that is exactly what this is. Um, to, like the the HQ was just something um, I, I felt if I skipped it I would want this in my collection and I would probably pay way too much for it later on um, once again I always try for the MCU um, Harry Potter ones as I as I keep saying they just do such great ones for the conventions I really wish they would do something like this cool for the comments I would even much prefer like maybe a wave of three or four if they just add us new characters uh, we don't need new Harry's we don't need new Hermione's new Ron's um, <laughs> I'm good I'm like I was good after the first Hagrid uh, I didn't need the one with the birthday cake <laughs> um, I do kind of like the one with uh, uh, Dumbledore holding the baby but once again that's a little different because it's kind of fun to have baby Harry but it's a different thing uh, but thank you all so much for tuning in which one was your favorite from this convention um, I'd love to know uh, so thank you all for tuning in once again if you did like what you're seeing like comment and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one this is Joe popping on and I'm gonna be popping off toodles